In the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. Praise be to God, Lord of the universe, the compassionate, the merciful, master of the day of judgment. You alone we worship, you alone we ask for help. Guide us on the right path, the path of those whom you blessed, not the path of those who deserved wrath nor of the strayers. O oh, people of the scripture, let us come to a logical agreement between us and you that we shall not worship except God, that we never idolize any human beings beside God. If you turn away, then bear witness that we are submitters. If you choose to disregard God's command, then bear witness that we only submit to the Lord of the universe, the creator of all things. O children of Adam, O children of Adam, the Lord our God is one Lord, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, with all your strength. This is the first commandment. You shall not make unto yourselves any graven image or any likeness of anything in the heavens above or under the earth beneath or under the waters under the earth. You shall not bow to them, nor shall you worship them. The command is that you shall not make unto yourselves any graven image or any likeness. So there is nothing like God. No vision can encompass the magnificence of the Almighty. You cannot, we cannot visualize the Creator. So, uh, but if you go to Genesis, you read that God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. You shall not make unto yourselves any graven image or any likeness. And then God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. How could we intelligently reconcile between these two verses? If one belongs to the scripture, if one belongs to the divine scripture, the other one does not. Bringing God down to a level of a human being and uh, saying that uh, we look like God, uh, God looks like us. What a gross blasphemy. What a gross lie. This verse opens a window, a door, that leads to the worst form of idol worship. Creating an image for God and lowering him to a level of a human being. He looks like us. We look like him. We look like God. And then elevating some from among the people to the position of divine and creating the worst form of idol worship.
the next verse it says God created man in his own image and then male and female he created them so what is this now we have God we know that male is not like female we can distinguish between the male and the female so are we having gods now who are in the, in our likeness being male and female this is uh, pagan theology this is uh, the same that the Greece and the Romans believed like Zeus to be the god of the gods a man a male figure and then Hera being his wife that cannot be that cannot be true <clears throat> 